And we begin in Pickens County. County Council will meet tonight to discuss funding for a proposed countywide radio system. Our Jennifer Reddy is joining us live in Pickens County tonight explaining why county officials say this is needed. Jennifer? Jane and Gabby, county officials say one countywide radio system would help responders communicate efficient, efficiently and be an improvement for day to day operations. What's going on there? In Pickens County, is she conscious? county leaders are considering plans to improve radio communications by moving to a countywide radio system. Public safety is what it's all about, uh, public and responder safety. Billy Gibson and other county leaders say this is something they have been working on for years. Right before I came on board was the Pinnacle Mountain Fire, and it was a struggle at times to make sure that everybody could have the right, the communication to get there. Right now, Gibson says they use three different systems, and the mountains and valleys in the county block some radio signals. Our county fire and our EMS and most of, most of our municipal fire partners are on a VHF system. Uh, most of our law enforcement are on a UHF system, and then we have uh, some of our partners in Clemson that are on an 800 megahertz system. Uh, because those are three, di three different platforms, and unfortunately they don't talk to each other, that could cause some communications. Uh, issues. But Gibson says moving to a countywide radio system would improve that. What we're hoping to do by going to this countywide system is to go to one common platform. That way all the channels will, will be interoperable and it allow us to talk to each other day in and day out operationally, but also uh, when we have a natural disaster or a large scale event, uh, we could actually cross those lines through that one um, that one platform and be able to talk to each other more efficiently. County Council is set to vote on allocating more than $10 million in ARPA funding towards this project. And we are told that the official vote on funding is expected to happen tonight during the County Council meeting, which starts at 630. If this project moves forward, Gibson says it will take time to implement. Reporting live in Pickens County, Jennifer Reddy, WYFF News 4.